What's up guys? Uh, it is morning time. Uh, and I'm out at the railroad tracks. It's some railroad track out in the middle of uh, Fillmore. I have no idea really where I am, but look, there's some of these tiny little train cars. Look at this. Look at those little things. That's hysterical. That's what we're riding on today. I'm looking for my friend Andy and his wife Jennifer. They're around here somewhere. <laughs> but these are freaking cool. Look at this. Look at these things. Yeah. How are you? What's up, Andy? Hey, <laughs> this is what we're riding in. I, I think this is my chair, or maybe that's my chair. I don't. I don't know. We'll see. things are what are these called these are called rail motor cars or speeders okay and they don't go that fast no. 20 miles an hour yeah you go much more than 20 it's pretty gonna come for ride because you've got steel wheels on a steel rail yeah and no suspension and you got to wear uh, um, earmuffs earmuffs to plug your ears yeah so um, uh, where are we going in these things we're gonna go up to Piru which is yeah. about uh, eight or ten miles up the road there and then we're gonna turn around we're gonna come back and we're gonna go to Santa Paula okay and then come back for no reason other than just to ride on the rails just because it's fun <laughs> yeah, just because it's fun. All right, I'm looking forward to it. No chance of racing or passing anybody. No, we try not to pass. We discourage that. <laughs> not that it hasn't been tried, but uh, yeah. we do discourage That it. could be an issue. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is Jen and uh, uh, Andy's other half, or maybe other other quarter. <laughs> Thirds. Um, uh, so uh, you've done this before, right? Yes. Is there anything that I need to know? I mean, I got boots on, which you, told, you guys told me I needed to. Well, you're going to also have to flag today. I'm going to have to flag. Yes, you are going to be one of the flaggers. What What does that mean? What do I have to do? So whenever we come up to intersections um, and you have to start slowing down, or you yeah. might have to come to a stop, you'll have to flag okay. to help let other people behind us know that we're going to be stopping. Otherwise, it's a pile up. Um, yeah, otherwise it could be dangerous. Okay, <laughs> so I gotta get on, I gotta get on the case. Yeah. Okay, all right. I willingly and knowingly accept these risks, which I understand could result in the destruction of my property or my injury or my death. That's it. There's, uh, everyone's getting to their train cars. It was a nice, good 20-minute meeting. And this is the one that we're riding in right here. This is Andy and Jennifer's. My seat, right there.
breakdowns that are going on over here. Not too long, doesn't take that long to fix. Kind of hanging out, it's really nice out today. station uh, everybody's turning around as you just saw but while they do that I spotted some cool classics to show you guys never uh, met Jen who uh, is uh, sitting here with me um, and Jen has uh, you have a an extraordinary panda collection oh I do uh, of, of, of infinite proportions I mean you have an entire room dedicated to pandas it is the panda museum which is why she gave me some panda candy right there <laughs> see that's that's how she rolls so anytime you go somewhere with that's Jen right. she provides the uh, the candy the specific panda stuff why pandas what's the big deal I think they're just adorable, and I think ever since I was a kid, I've, people started giving me panda things, and it just stuck, and I still think they're amazing animals, even to this day. If I could have three pets, I think it would be a panda, a koala, and a piglet. Oh, those would be good choices. How about you? Those would be good choices. You'd have three pandas. I, they probably would all be pandas. 
No, I'd have to have a dog. Yeah, well, you got one. You got a dog and you got a husband. So that's, that's a lot right there. really fun. We got a chance to see a lot of interesting countryside. It was pretty exciting. It's the most fun you can have going 20 miles an hour. Technically, we went 26 miles an hour. That's pretty fast when there's uh, not much around you. But as we were coming into the train station, I spotted something rather interesting. Something you could probably not find anywhere else. Check this out. It's right up here. This is the actual train from Back to the Future 3 right there. 